you, you would be surprised how connected the themes of caring for your people are to major events in the last 20 years in business. You know, at a fundamental level, uh, we should care for people because Jesus in Matthew 22, in the summary of the law, suggested and commanded actually that we should love God and love our neighbor. So at a baseline, that makes it all make sense. Businesses aren't exempt from the summary of the law and it's also good for business. So an entrepreneur, regardless of their religious persuasion, should wanna care for their people too. And what we have found in, in, in research, in academic research as well as business research, is that employees would much rather work for a transformational leader, somebody who's looking to improve not only the, the company for which they work, but the lives of their employees and all the stakeholders, including their customers. And elements of servant leadership, which should sound familiar to someone who's following the, the summary of the law and Jesus' commandments, are also part of transformational leadership. And employees would rather work for a transformational or servant leader, certainly, and I think for obvious reasons, than they would rather work for somebody who's transactional. And as I said earlier, that, re that reverberates very well into the, the entire ecosystem of a company. All the stakeholders appreciate when employees are well cared for, including an important element of the equation, which is the families of the employees. People don't have to work for you. They can generally work somewhere else. And so their decision to come to work for you every day is guided not only by their own interests, but really ha how their families feel about the experience as well. You, you would be surprised how connected the themes of caring for your people are to major events in the last 20 years in business, right? From a, from a, a tech bubble burst right after 9-11, leading right into the firm where I was a partner, imploding and disappearing in four months. It became apparent in that entire six months that the most important thing to have done for the people who worked for us was to take care of them, bar none. And why that's important is that if a few years later, a business executive in an entirely different line of business who understood that story called me up and asked me how that actually worked. And he was about to go through one of the larger banking failures and it worked for him too. Right. And so the real question is, are, are the methods and the methodologies that we put together for how to care for our people and be authentic? That, that's also important to be, be authentic. People, you can say you care for your employees. They're not interested. You have to show it or, or don't waste your time. And so we're living in an environment right now where the book's still being written. The pandemic was, was and is a great opportunity to show your employees and your entire ecosystem of stakeholders how you care for them. And hopefully in, in a year, we'll be able to look back and, and find out when we survey our people, which you should do, that we did as well as we think we're doing.